Ice sculptures are at the heart of two winter fests in the Poconos this weekend, and a business in Wayne County is behind it all. Newswatch 16's Amanda Eustace shows us how ice is turned into art. With a chainsaw in hand, employees here at Sculpted Ice Works near Holly are hard at work. Ice sculptures are being carved for winter fests this weekend in the Poconos. We've been working on this for a couple weeks now at this point. Um, between making the ice and doing unique colors and stuff like that and designing. Um, and this week obviously is our big push. Jim Thorpe's Winter Fest will feature 11 ice sculptures and an ice bar. Stroudsburg's Winter Fest will boast 51 sculptures and showcase a live ice carving demonstration in Courthouse Square. Despite mild temperatures, employees here say the sculptures should last. The biggest damage to the ice sculpture is done by the sun. Yeah. So if they're out of the sun, they'll actually last for quite some time, even, even in above freezing temperatures. Making the ice sculptures is not an easy process. It takes about four days to turn this water into ice, and then they could begin turning the ice into art. Once they're done freezing, we pull them out. We cut them down to 10 inches, which is the industry standard size. Uh, and we store them in our freezers. And from there, we either, like I said, we'll either run them on the CNC and do some finished carving, with a chainsaw and die grinders, or we'll do completely from scratch. Out of the more than 60 pieces being sculpted for this weekend, 28 of them will be hand carved. They're very unique pieces, and ice does something to, to like a character because you know some of these are cartoons, and the way that they're carved into ice, it the way it shimmers, everything it kind of brings it to life. For information on Stroudsburg and Jim Thorpe's Winterfest, visit WNEP.com. I'm Eustis, Newswatch 16, Wayne County.